What's up, you guys? Tree Troopers! I'm Sonya. And I'm Dakota. And, and we're, we're Staples and Tits. So today, it's Father's Day weekend. We know you guys are out watching. Hopefully, you've already gotten your gifts. But uh, we, we have been going back and forth with this whole, how do we do overlanding? How do we do this as a lifestyle? <laughs> Recently, um, we've been going around looking at all different types of things. We went we're in, looking at RV. I don't know if I can do it. Ooh, I got it. Yeah, so, Southland RV. Not really RVs, but off-road trailers. So yeah. today we're about to look at the Explore and we're going to look at the Black Series. And we looked at the Black Series extensively online. So I want to see that one first. Yeah. And Nakota was also impressed with the Explore product. So we're going to save that one for second. Oh man, they got a 21. The last time I was here, they only had a 19. Four. The oh, the HQ. So we get to look at both of them now. Oh, yeah. that's exciting. Okay. That's exciting. But I don't want to really be, oh, we got, we should look at the cricket. Before we get to the black series, we got to look at the cricket. In the bar. So I can tell you right now, the cricket ain't for me. <laughs> <laughs> Does not have a bathroom. Um, It looks very utilitarian is what I would say. Very minimal. Very minimal. Probably will get the job done, but minimal. So yes, we go up to Sutherland uh, to take a look at their trailers. And we had a few different ones in mind, but I really wanted to understand all of the different types of trailers that they have, all of the different type of campers that they have. While we're there, while we're there, we had to put eyes on what we came to see, which was the Black Series. We wanted to look at their HQ-19 and we also had an opportunity to look at the HQ-21. However, they did have another tra uh, camper out there that was worth looking at. That Explore RV? Explore RV. And man, wow. it was a ooh, it was a doozy. So we ended up going back and forth between the Explore RV as well as the Black Series HQ-19. But there are just a couple things. <laughs> There's just a couple things, though, that I think the Black Series... Elevated on. Oh. Yeah. It just, I mean, it, it brought its game. So let's just go through it. So as far as the exterior was concerned, um, were there any things that, any things that grabbed your attention that stood out to About you? About the Black Series? Yeah. The Black Series, I really liked that diamond pattern that it had. Yeah. That was super yeah. nice. This diamond plate that they have sort of protects the... Uh, exterior and from rock chips and stuff like that. That was really nice. Um, the dimensions of the Black Series, what about that? Um, we're looking at a trailer that's around 26 feet long, uh, 10 feet tall, seven and a half feet wide. Yeah, which like my perspective, I wasn't really focused on that part because I, th I wanted you to feel more comfortable with the outside. I wasn't, right, right. the dimensions wasn't a big right. focus for I, me. I get it, I get it. Um, but on the outside, it was the kitchen. The kitchen was nice. The kitchen, but the kitchen was way too tall for me. Yes. Oh yeah, outdoor kitchen. A nice little drawer for all your utensils. Oh, that's nice. Oh, this is just a working surface. Oh, that's a really cool. So, I, I really like this. I like the amount of work surface that you have, like counter space. Um, I love gas stove. It looks like you know, it should have some good control over the heat. Um, but first thoughts, first thoughts, this counter is really, really high. Um, I'm only five feet tall, but if Nakota like steps back some, you can see it's at my chest. So I don't know if I would want to cook food this close to my face. Yeah. You have additional storage here. You just pull them up and turn. Okay, and this is your pastor storage, so that's a really good size. 
but some of the things on the outside of the um, Black Series that really caught my eye, the insulation, it has this R16 on the walls as well as um, one solid piece um, mm. across the top. But you talked about the insulation. You remember when we closed everything to see how loud it was? Because we were right by the highway. And yeah. it wasn't, it was, yeah, you could still hear it, but it wasn't, it wasn't terrible. Oh, sure. and the biggest selling point for having it as an off road trailer is the independent suspension that it has. Um, I mean, these things are tested. The uh, suspension system is tested up to like 40,000 pounds per control arm with dual shocks, 17 inch rims, uh, 33 inch tires. I mean, it is an exceptional truck or trailer as far as what it's capable of supporting itself. And it also has sliders. So I was really impressed with it being capable of being off-road. Um, now- It had a full-size awning also. Yeah, full-size awning. Was, that was huge. Yeah. The full-size awning was huge because y'all know, you out, you need some shade. So let's go ahead oh, and step inside. Step inside. Now, don't forget, when you step inside, you got those electric slides. Oh, little steps, steps. Yeah, little steps to hop nice. down. Yeah. yeah. It has yeah. a nice door with like this kind of dual door thing where you have a fly screen and then you can collapse it and end up with like a solid door. So when you step inside, though, my God. It's nice, y'all. Well appointed. I'm, I it's nice. Place. Queen size bed. Yeah. Plenty of storage. Yeah. Um, the sink, really good size sink. The Full size fridge. The fridge. This is a good size, too, though. This is a Dometic. This looks like a mini version of our um, monogram. Induction. It's a decent size, a decent amount of storage. It has your water filtration system built in. That's nice. microwave you know I love my TV I might even be able to have one house plan I gotta figure out how to tie it down does anybody out there that RVs or overland have a house well I know RVers have house plans but I need a house plan and something like this how do I secure it cuz I need my work yet other overlanders consistently say the more comfortable you are if you can you know have a separate sleeping space and working space you can probably be more successful because it's more like home so that was one of the things that we were thinking about because we're gonna have to figure out you know a work situation so having the separate dinette table I thought was really nice yeah. and one of the nicer things about that dinette table it's adjustable in height mm -hmm. and it also forms the second bed so you have mm -hmm. a queen size bed <laughs> that's your own and then the second bed is this table you have to reconfigure it but exactly. I mean it's easy enough to do um, and you don't have any real stretch with it. So but, if we really need space. <laughs> right, right. We can make it work. The uh, cabinets, though, I thought, one, I really liked the veneer finish that it had. Um, but the cabinets had these, like, uh, locks that ensured that they stayed closed locks or whatever, uh, as well as gas struts. So when you lifted it up, um, it would stay, play, stay in place. So I really liked that mm -hmm. as some of the things that uh, stood out to me um, with the cabinet system, as yeah. well as how many cabinets and storage. It was a lot of cabinets. Yeah. They utilize every every piece of space. Yeah. Every piece of storage space. Storage everywhere. So I, I really enjoyed that. Anything else jump out to you? What? <laughs> I'm surprised when you talked about it yet. What, what the, bathroom? the bathroom? The bathroom. The bathroom. The bathroom. Yeah. What can you say? I mean, it was a it was a really nice size shower. It was a grown man shower. I'm 230 pounds and I felt very comfortable being in it. I didn't feel like I was going to be cramped. I didn't feel any. I felt like I could bend over and wash the nether regions of my body. Yeah. <laughs> the shower, the shower, the bathroom in general, the sink, yeah. the mirror, yeah. um, little medicine cabinet, you know, toilet. Yeah. It was as close as you could get to 
um, a regular size bathroom. That I for that size footprint, I was really impressed with how they use this space. Yeah, because some of the other things we looked at, the bathroom felt like the whole bathroom. It was like a wet room. Your shower, toilet, sink. It felt like you were in a airplane bathroom. Yeah, and that is way too small. Yeah, and when you're in this one, you had. Um, all of this stuff was separate. Your sink was separate, your shower was separate, and your toilet was separate. And then... Tell them about the toilet, though. What did you like about it? The toilet? Yeah. No. I mean, the, the toilet, I mean, the toilet, it's a, it's a real flushing toilet, y'all. It's a real flushing toilet. That's the part that I liked about it. But I'm also not um, excited about having a black tank. Oh, yeah. But it does have, as far as how much... It can carry yeah uh, 26 gallons yeah, so 26 gallons of black i can manage that 26 gallons of gray and then 30 gallons of water and then you have like an additional 16 gallons of I drinking that's my point for where so, we are I mean, now i think if we keep the same mindset we can manage that very well yeah. you think flushing yellow let it mellow brown flush it down <laughs> you know um the bag system yeah. yeah i think we can manage it is my point but the kicker in the bathroom the bathroom also has a washing machine yeah the washing machine is a deal boom. breaker deal breaker boom. i mean you couldn't go any further once we when we went out west last year um you know 30 days out of course you have to figure out how we're going to do the clothes uh sonya took the l for the team <laughs> And, uh, I was hand washing. Yeah, she hand washed about halfway through, uh, and it, it was a hard day. It was a hard day for me. I don't, I mean, it was, <laughs> I don't even act like you know. It, it was. A, it looked tough. I was working, working, um, or doing whatever it was that I was doing. Uh, but Sonya did the washing, and then the second time we washed, we were in Moab, and that yeah, was we also. Went to the yeah, we went to a laundromat, and. It honestly is just something that we would prefer to have as a private um, item that we deal with. Because I think we've talked a lot about the the black series. Yeah. Um, the night that was the nineteen specifically. So the twenty one. Twenty one. The twenty one. The twenty one. Um, they're just I think a couple of things. It is definitely two feet bigger. Those extra two feet make a big difference. Make a huge difference. They make a huge difference. Definitely say you're not gonna be roughing it. <laughs> you are not roughing it. This is. I'm impressed. I, I actually am very impressed with what they were able to pull off here. I cannot imagine going down through the woods with this. <laughs> no, it's big as it's big. And then this door also is a, a pocket door. Oh, I didn't even realize it was a door. Yeah, and that's what got me off, caught me off guard. Uh, keep door locked while traveling. All right. So. <clears throat> so the thing that I think is a little impressive to me about the 21 is definitely huge. Don't get me wrong, but you legit have a door, like a bedroom door. So if we were to have guests and have them sleeping in the guest room, close the door yeah you can lock the door yeah. so if you have kids you have like a door that locks or pets <laughs> but most and, people yeah and then the other just like um at home you know you like to have a separate powder room the shower in this one is separate from the toilet so nakoda could be taking a shower and i could be using the bathroom at the same damn time so this is good yeah, you know, Nakoda, I'm going to say this. This is really nice, but I, I I don't know. Like, part of me says I could just take our Jet Bull Genesis, tuck it in a drawer, as opposed to having a full-on induction cooktop. But part of me also says the convenience of this and not having to pack and unpack stuff is nice. So, I don't know. Yeah, I think... And, and that's sort of what I was thinking about too. Yeah. Now there was one other 
uh, camper trailer that we were looking at that was off-road capable to the degree that we wanted. And that was the Explore RV. Yes. And man, that was a very was nice. nice. Um, because their original design was for ice fishermen. Yeah. And then they decided to um, have an overlanding version. So it's very off-road capable. Um, it has this hydraulic lift system. Yeah, it takes it from like 12 inches to 20 inches. Um, yeah. So that, you know, you have a lot more flexibility when you're off-roading and when you're on the highway with how high you want it to be. The thing was, I mean, sealed all the way around. You know, mm -hmm. the bottom is completely flat. Um, None of your plumbing is exposed. Nothing, which is a, one of the things that hurt It doesn't us. have a black tank. No, it doesn't have a black tank. Um, with the, uh, it has a cassette toilet yeah. system. Which I really like that system. Yeah, it was very nice. Uh, but uh, the bathroom was more along the lines of what you would yeah. um, see for like an airplane. That was of. the deal breaker. Yeah, it was the bathroom awesome. was like in this really small corner because yeah. it's in the front of the RV. So yeah. that was the deal breaker for that one. Yeah, but it was, it's a very, <clears throat> very nice uh, uh, camper trailer. Then the, it also had an optional uh, rooftop tent and you a walkable rooftop. Yeah, like you can walk the whole roof. Yeah, it's you can a walk very, the whole nice, roof of it. very nice. But what was really nice in that one was the kitchen. The finish, the finish level in that one, it seemed more cabin-like, more just natural. And I, I really liked the finish level in that. But the kitchen, um, the eyes were cast iron in the kitchen. And that was just very, um, it felt like home in there so i really did like the explore rv so if you haven't looked at it take a look at it but i do want to give a head nod to taxa rv and the mantis because um when when we walked inside of the mantis i was like okay everything is here it has everything you know it has a master bed it has you know two bunks for kids, it has chairs, it has a bathroom, it has a, a place for you to put your Dometic. It had everything in that amount of space. And it did make me think, could AC I- AC unit, it had an AC unit. It had an air conditioning unit, yeah. yeah. It, made, it had drawers for storage, yeah. but it made me think I could live in a space that small. Yeah, the, 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 yeah. it's a very Spartan setup. I think a NASA engineer designed it. Um, and it's designed to be very light, mm -hmm. and it it achieved it hands down. Yeah, so it's for someone most. for someone who has like a forerunner, yeah. you know, that you need to be more conscious of what yeah, your yeah your GVWR your gross vehicle weight ratio mm -hmm. is. This is a, an idea of one that you could consider. Uh, so you know, if you're out there for something a little bit lighter, that would definitely yeah. Should. Where I was going with that was is it make it making me thinking I could try a smaller vehicle i wanted to look at the 15 and the 17. so i actually reached back out to the salespeople to let me know when they had a 15 and a 17 coming in because i wanted to look at it and when i remember when i went and told you that he was like why he was like i don't need nothing smaller <laughs> <laughs> dakota said i don't need anything smaller than this and when i went back and looked the deal breaker between the 17 and the 19 is the washing machine. Yeah. It's the washing machine. Washing machine. The space capacity of the sep the 19 versus the 17 um, gets you that washing machine. But yeah. conversely speaking, the difference between the 19 and the 21, another two feet, and you got a bedroom door. And I mean, it makes it really tough. But, it does. And all of this, obviously, is price points. And what are you going to be paying for for those deltas? You know, we're, we're really just trying to figure out what is going to be the right balance of um, overlanding. You know, do we do it with a Black Series trailer uh, or do we just, you know, stay with a rooftop tent and know that we're going to do hip camps, um, Airbnbs and camping with some degree of mixture and uh, maybe sleeping on your couch. I don't know. Right. Right. We, watch we have <laughs> had we have had a lot. We have, thank you all. Thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all for the love. We have had, since we announced that we were doing this full time, we have had so many Tree Troopers reach out to us. 
Don't you cry. Don't you start that. <laughs> it's like so sweet. Oh, dear God. It's so sweet. But we have had so many people reach out to us and say, if you're ever in this area, stop by. You know, we have a warm shower. We have a, you know, you can wash your clothes, whatever. And that means so much. That means so much. So Thank y'all. Thank y'all. For thank me. you. Thank you. Thank you. So as we get the real plan together um, and get out there, we are going to be reaching out to some of you tree troopers. Yeah. Um, so make sure, you know, you go in, you sign up with Staples and Tents. Um, right. So that we can catalog where you are and figure out, you know, put maps, put pins on maps and let, oh, yeah, such and such is in this location. We got to be able to do it. Look, she is crying. Y'all, y'all see how y'all be touching my woman? <laughs> y'all make it so happy. So y'all, like all these messages I get, they they like hit me here. They hit me here. So thank you again to all the tree troopers. I don't know if you guys watch the credits all the way to the end, but at the end of the video, we highlight all of our Patreon supporters. Um, previously, we were just doing some of our Patreon supporters, but now because I because I really do appreciate each we we appreciate each and every one of you guys, I'm going to change it. Every single um, Patreon supporter will be listed. So watch to the end and see the people who are loving us and supporting us. And if you um, want to get, if you want to get some more background content, you know, Nakota and I, we opened up a lot in this video. Um, but if you want to get more of that background content, all you know, the just the casual conversations yeah. that Nakota and I are having, that's what all the, that's that's what the what, Patreons get. Yeah, that's, that's what our Patreons get. But um, come on over and sign up to our Patreon. Go to our website. Check out our Staples and Tents gear, our Black People Off-Road gear. If you aren't following Black People Off-Road in that community, go follow Black People Off-Road. Um, Glamp Queen. Glamp Queen. Oh, my gosh, you guys. Glamp Queen. Our collaboration with Glamp Queen has gotten really serious. Yes. And um, she has daily deals. So jump on there uh, on Instagram and you can follow along. And she posts daily deals every day. Click on the link, buy it. We're doing the homework. She's doing the homework to bring you some All really good deals. deals out there to make your camping a glamping experience. So. But thank you guys. Thank you guys for watching. We hope you like this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and make sure you share it with subscribe, somebody. Subscribe. Subscribe. And subscribe. All right, y'all. Deuces. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. <laughs> oh my gosh, Nakoda. Today, uh, what we're drinking is Noble Cidery, and this is out of Asheville. So, to Father's Day, good memories in upstate New York and Asheville, North Carolina. Yeah. It's not working. <laughs> And Sonia's drinking the ginger uh, oh, yeah. cider, and I am drinking the apple pie cider. And oh my god, I love ginger. I love ginger. Which one is yours? This is oh apple pie. It has all the notes. All the notes of apple pie. Yeah, yeah. It's, it does not taste sweet and sugary like apple pie, but you can taste the apple, you can taste the cinnamon, you can taste the nutmeg. Like, even has a little buttery finish. <laughs> <laughs> it even has a little.